back everybody welcome back to a brand new video today before we begin make sure to like subscribe to your favorite share you matter you do surely matter she's gonna curse here but i think i gotta quit cursing i might as well just curse in the video today we have paper mate paper mate ink joy ballpoint pens these are ultra smooth ink and i'll show you more of it in the video so let's get to it these are my pre pre thoughts like my pre thoughts i think yeah, three you can see i think it so basically what that means is it's my thoughts before i really get to use it to so my pre thoughts so it is paper mate as you guys can see it says it right there um i've had some controversy about paper mate recently i have one of their pens over here that i hate the most it's known as the paper mate profile gel this is the one I hate by, and they're by Paper Mate. Sometimes Paper Mate can actually go a little bit overboard and make a very bad pen because they make it scratchy. Either they make it because they don't care, or they make really good ones, or they make ones that are utterly trash and there's nothing you can do to fix it. But anyway, I still have a little bit of controversy about Paper Mate of how they don't really try their hardest to make pens. Now, I know a lot of people like Paper Mate pens. I do, too, whenever they make them well and they're not just some, you know, dough-making thing that nobody cares about. But, yeah, so these are the Paper Mate Ink Joy Ballpoint. You can see it says they're 100 ST, um, and it's ultra-smooth ink, and it comes with eight. You can see there, three, six, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, eight. Okay, and then it's eight there, and it has 1.0 millimeter ballpoint pens, and it's a medium point. So a lot of people reviewed them, and they said they were good. Um, one of my favorite one that does pens so and pen reviews all the time. His entire content is based on that, and on like, on digital was, how does it go? Take a look at dig digital or on the digital world or something like that. It has that at his end, but he does his name. It's always analog. The beauty of technology in the digital world or something like that. And his content is amazing. I'll put his channel link in the description, guys. He's the one that inspired me to do this content. I saw him at the end, I think, in December of 2021. So, he inspired me since. So, yeah. This is Paper Mate. Um, so, these are my pre-thoughts. I'm hoping they're good, but on the back it says here, Spread joy throughout, wait, spread joy through writing with Paper Mate Ink Joy. Paper Mate Ink Joy Ballpoint 100 ST pens are smooth, reliable, colorful, available in 10 vivid colors. And okay, yeah, that's nothing you need to see there. And it's 1.0 millimeter ballpoint pens. So, and then here's the color of the pen. It says up there, has a little bit of it on the side here. As we can read, Paper Mate Ink Joy 100 1.0 millimeter. And we can see here that's without the cap. And, well, this is with the cap and shows it there too. And then this is without the cap. So with the cap, without the cap. And then you can kind of see it's it's similar to most of the pens out there. At first, I thought that's a different one. So I'm, I've seen pens like that many a times. So let's hope that the, let's hope that this actually writes like one. And it's not a disappointment like that fucking paper mate profile jail one was. All right. There we go. Let's open these babies up, shall we? Oh, here we go. Got good ripping sound effects. See? All right. One thing I already love about these is the caps. They don't look cheap, which even if they don't, I think it's the matter of the writing. Now, sometimes pens that look cheap are probably going to be cheap. These don't really look good. All right, so the fill is great. I would recommend a grip for Paper Mate's pen. But other than that, this pen, I actually have to say, does not need a grip to make it feel comfortable. Again, we have the color pink. We have purple. We have black. We have dark blue. Uh, we have green. We have light blue. 
we have orange, we got red. So those are all the colors we have here. Now, I want to point out to you guys, these are really good pens, okay? I've seen them on YouTube, I just haven't picked them up. And then, yeah, I watched reviews about this when I first saw them, and I picked them up. So, that's right. Let's go, man. See, that's what I'm fucking talking about, bitch! You do it like that. You... There you go. You know Paper May can't make a bad pen. Get this pen out of there. That's the only trash one I've had so far. Let's go. Absolutely great. The great big I war. The great big war. There you go. You can see it is cheap. You know, these are pretty cheap pens, but they don't look it, and they definitely don't write it. So, yeah. Let's start off with a different color. I think we're going to do pink, because who gives a lot of love to a pink color? Okay? I mean, any boy can like the pink, have the, like the color pink. I mean, come on. The amazing life of Pimple Dude. I don't know how that says, but I'm just going to spell any word. I don't care if it's real or not. Um, seems reliable. As I said on the back, if you saw the video, it said reliable. Yep, you can even see. Reliable. Smooth. And colorful. These are pretty dang good pens, not gonna lie. Uh, let's go with this one, which is purple. The coal is fail with flames. All these colors are great. That was blue, that was pink, that was purple. All very, very amazing. Uh, let's use the most classic color, the most legendary color, black. Uh, man on school bus. Say hi. Say cheese. There you go. Sorry about that. But there you go. One more color, we'll do red, because that's the second most legendary color, in my opinion. No. But there you go. So, that has been today's review. Uh, we have to get to the marking. Basically, what that is, is you'll see... Okay, guys... Um, a, a bigger review is coming after this video, so yeah. Um, expect that to come out very soon. That should come out after I'm done editing this video and get that video uploaded. That video should definitely come out. This video and the other videos will be definitely on some of the... This video will be on channels of mine that haven't had any pen reviews or had some or had many. So yeah, they're on a couple on my channels and uh if you find them then you're lucky tell me if you find them all and i'll give you guys a shout out or if you want a shout out leave it on the comments and i will nobody suggested these i just randomly picked these up because at the time i had to go home not go home I mean, we were I, we watched a movie last uh this video will be posted on a channel where i explain the movie i watched and i did a review on one of the channels this video will be posted to and that is uh, Top Lazy, and we watched The Barbarian, which was an absolutely amazing movie. I suggest go watching it. A lot of people say it's trash, but that's because they don't know the value of horror movies, like I do. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. Let's get right to the last part, which is the, basically the ranking, or the review. This is, well, this is like the final summary, so it's the board. Here we go. Alright.
There we go. So, let's give out the light. Well, we forgot the light. Uh, we'll let the light inside with this one, because that's just how I roll with the lines. So, here we go. Um, we'll give the writing. We'll give the writing, I think, mainly. We'll give it a 9.2 out of 10. So, that would be in stars. It'd be four and a half stars out of five. So, the writing wasn't bad. The only thing that could be better is if the lighting was less scratchy. But here's the thing. It's not scratchy in the terms where you couldn't barely use it. I could feel a little scratchiness, or the writing maybe wasn't scratchy, but it could have been a little bit better. But still, for for the price it was, for as good as it was, I don't think that the scratchiness or what's wrong with the writing would be a big deal. Because to be honest, I didn't really tell that there was something wrong with it. I could just feel it. You know, but overall, it's still a very good pen to write with. I mean, every pen is, every pen has somewhat of a cool ability. Maybe it's not as good as you think it is. Maybe it's not good at all. There are some pens out there that don't have any value to them. When you buy them, you pick them up, you write with them. You have so much, uh, you know, amazement for them. You have so much, so much expectations. But when you use it, all those expectations are somewhat destroyed when you find out it's scratchy, like the freaking profile gel. We'll give the feel it. So the feel, okay, to the pen. It's a new thing we're going to be doing on the channel. We're going to give that a uh, 8.7 out of 10. Because the feel, you know, no, 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 that's too low. You got to be more, you got to be more realistic here. You got to give it a 9.7 out of 10. Some sometimes the feel will be better than the writing, or the writing mostly would be better than the feel. But with this pen, the feel is basically the feel is how it feels when you write with it, how good it really is. That's just what the feel is. So it feel how it feels with the grip or without a grip, if it has a grip or if the or how good it is. So yeah, we'll give the feel a nine point seven out of ten because it did. Give me a good feeling before I even started writing with it. And then when I started writing with it, it was it was like falling onto a soft pillow after a rough day. Refreshing. And we're going to give, before we do the final one, which is the overall pen, we're gonna give me what I think of it. Like what's the what's the emotion I give it? I give it a refreshing feeling. Okay? Refreshing feeling, okay? Absolutely a refreshing feeling. It's a pen that I would recommend using after you have a bad experience with one. You go ahead and you use these. I'm guaranteed to tell you guys, you're gonna absolutely love it. And it's gonna be somewhat of a refreshing pen. If you've used a pen that's better, it's still gonna be somewhat refreshing. Uh, but yeah, it's like having an amazing Sprite after a rough day. It's amazing. And the overall pen, the one you've been waiting for, the overall. We're going to give this a 92 and a half out of 100. It crushed it. One of my favorite pens actually was this one. I had expectations for it, okay? But I didn't have that, I didn't have that much high for expectations for it. Because first, you know... If you'd used another paper mate pen and you've tell that it wasn't good, you know. It's kind of hard to get more expectations for it because you already knew a pen screwed it up for you. So that kind of made me not think of it would be good. But when I used it, it was like, heaven! But anyway. Thank you for watching today's review, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. More ASMR content coming soon on one of the channels I'm posting this on, Adam Ernest.